Hello, ladies. Um, I'm back again. <laughs> um, I'm going to do now the how we told our parents video. I'm gonna tell you about how I told mine first, and then I'm gonna tell you how his parents found out. Um, I briefly told you how mine, how I told my mother at least, because my father did not find out before he passed away. Um, so I can't really say how he found out because he doesn't know or he didn't find out but how my mother found out was on august 4th i went to the doctor as a regular checkup um i get them i get um checkups monthly instead of like a lot a lot of women they do pep smears and stuff like that yearly i prefer to do my monthly just to make sure everything is super current and just in case anything happens during a month i have to wait and and it progresses or anything like that not that I've had anything or anything, but just for security in myself, to myself. So me and my boyfriend went to that appointment. And they do the um, the pee in the cup and the pep smear and different stuff like that. And they do um, the height, blood pressure, etc. Same appointment stuff. So the appointment was at I believe 2:45. I didn't get out of the doctor till five o'clock. Um. I went in, um, what happened? It was very crowded, um, so it took a minute. So when I got in there, the nurse came in, she checked, she, she did a little knee to check my reflexes, did my blood pressure, asked me all the little health questions about smoking, drinking, whatever, all the things I do none of. Um, also, she had me pee in a cup, and then she did, um, about half an hour after that, she had the doctor come in. They did my pep smear. And then they still wanted to wait because some results came back at the same time. Like, you can wait 15 minutes and get the results. So, I did that. And um, when she came in, both of the nurse, the nurse and the doctor came in. They sat down. And I don't like sitting on the bed, so I sat in the chair. So, we was all face to face. And um, she was like, well, sweetie, we got... Your pregnancy test came back positive. Um, it's not the end of the world. Um, but we are going to tell you about different solutions, um, different things, different options you have, and which were the abortion, adoption, keeping the baby. Um, so I was very, I, my eyes watered a little. I mean, honestly, I can't say I was surprised. It was just pretty much dead set, like it's true. Like instead of me just thinking or guessing or whatever it was like 30 if there's your answer so we talked for a second and she um asked me like um am i going to tell my mother or my parents and i said um yes we so she asked like do what i like to call her there and tell her why they're around um as far as like whether or not my mother is going to be upset or anything and if so they can help me with that and so i don't have to do it alone also um she asked me would she prefer would i prefer her start the conversation with my mother so i said yes yeah, so i would much rather her tell her and then i talk to her afterwards so that's what she did she called my mom um someone else answered the phone first and so my mom finally got on the phone she told her, like, um, well, Shanice is at the hospital, and she found out she was pregnant today, so we want to just call and let you know. Um, also, let me start by saying, when I was getting my exam, she checked my stomach and everything like they normally do, and I had a lot of, like, pressure, like, a lot of pain when she pressed on my thumb. Oh, over my um on my stomach, like my lower stomach. I had a lot of pain. So she, um, when she found out I was pregnant, it... I guess the first thing she thought of was a tubular pregnancy. So she had, um, when she came over, she told her that also and asked her if she would like to, um, if she wouldn't mind meeting me at the emergency hospital so I can get an emergency, um, vaginal ultrasound. Um, so I talked to her, um, talked to my mom and she was fine. She was very supportive. She, um, she was not upset at all, at all. She was very fine. Um, then after I got the phone from my mom, they called my boyfriend back and they told him 
And like I said, neither one of us were expecting anything different, but it was still the same. Very shocking to hear a dead set. There's your answer. So he was stunned a little bit, but it was no question in neither one of our minds that we were going to keep the baby because we already talked about it if it was a possibility of me being pregnant. So um, from there, we went to the emergency and we sat there for like three hours and didn't even end up getting the vaginal ultrasound because it took so long. But, um, so that day, um, well, that's how my mom found out, but that day my mom also told a few other people. So, um, but that's how my mom found out. My dad, I told you, never got to find out. So, um, I was five weeks when we found out I was pregnant. Three, two weeks went by and I, I kept asking, like, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell him, tell him, tell him. And he was so nervous, so... Mind you, we do live with his parents. So, I see his mother and father daily. And I, I don't feel comfortable living under their roof. And they don't know what's going on. And, um, sorry, I had to move to some light. Um, so, I started, I got put on Facebook and on Twitter. Little places I know where, like, eventually they would see something. Like, by putting code. So, um his mother seen on Facebook that I had said um I wish he would tell them because I'm tired of it being a secret whatever whatever and, um so she called one day we had left that was like two that had that I was seven weeks when it happened so one um another week went by and that was eight weeks then and we were in a car I'm driving somewhere I forget and she called me and she was like, is there something you wanted to tell me? I'm like, um, not necessarily me, but I think there's something that you and your son could talk about because I prefer him tell her with that being his mother. So he talked to her and whatever. And she asked, like, well, is she pregnant? And he said yes and um, asked how far along I was. And we told her and also um, we're going to keep baby. But, of course, we were. And, um, also, she asked a few other things, but, um, so, that's how she found out. She pretty much found out on her own. And not because he told her anything, but because she seen what I put on there and decided to ask. Um, which is my whole purpose of putting it on there. Because I wanted her to at least ask. If he wasn't going to tell her, I wanted her to ask. Like, I wanted her to find out some way, but from him. And so... That's how she found out. Um, his his mother told his dad. He never he didn't really say much about it. He still has it. And I'm 17 weeks, and he still never said anything about me being pregnant. His mom, she's happy. Um, his sister took it hard at first. How they found I'm gonna also I tell you how they found out. Didn't nobody know at first in his household. But his mom one day his mom. We were sitting out there with me, his sister, his brother, and his brother's girlfriend. We were sitting downstairs. And his mom came in and um, we were talking about all of us doing our applications to this one job. Like, we're all going to work together, whatever. And um, and we were telling, like, we how me and his sister filled out his application, his brother's application. And, um, and she can she was like oh and that's who you want to be your baby daddy i'm like no it's not who i chose but that's how it ended up and i'm like he would be a great father and so his sister was like oh, what you? she was like what are you talking about whatever um because like i said nobody knows she was like oh yeah she pregnant and so i'm like yeah she was like no you ain't no she ain't get out of here and so i think she finally came to it like well whatever she's pregnant so, um, that's how they found out because the mother said something then. And, um, everybody's happy now. Um, right before the video, I was talking to a sister about how everybody else in my family took it. But everybody in my family took it very well. But teen pregnancy is not, sadly to say, teen pregnancy is nothing new in my family. Um, my grandmother had her first child at 16. I have an aunt, had her first child at 14. My other aunt, two other aunts had their first kids at 18. My mother had me at 21. Um, 
my uncle had his first child at 16. And then, like, everybody, like, my cousin, he he has two kids. And he's 16. Uh, or, 15, he's 16. And then, my um, I have an older cousin who is more like a brother to me. Um, he has two kids. And he's, well, he would have three, but one of his daughters passed away. Um, and he's 22. So, I mean, it's not, like, a big deal so it's not like a big thing in my family so everybody's used to it everybody's very supportive but that's how everybody found out um i think that's pretty much it um i'm probably gonna try to do another video after this since i'm back up here alone um my boyfriend is downstairs in the basement watching the game with his father and a few other friends so i'm gonna try to get as much done as i can as possible bye guys